Hey guys, Prepper Nurse One here. Um, I'm on my way down to the property. Today is Saturday, the 11th of October. Um, I let the girls sleep today. It's a little chilly this morning. It's in the low 40s. So once I get up to the property, it'll be a little cooler down there because it's higher elevation. So I'm like, eh. And this way I bring another good load of stuff with me today. And I'll show you all that when I get down to the property. Uh, just want to talk about uh, everything that you know. It's like that's happening as far as like the building is in really, really bad shape. So realistically, just using it for storage is the best alternative. Um, worst case scenario, like I said, I do not know how long I have in my house. Um, so I'm hoping to get through the winter. And if I get through the winter and you have to move up there in the spring, that's great. Um, if we have to move in the middle of the winter, we're going to do what we have to do. So, but uh, for right now, you know, we're we're okay. I haven't heard anything from the bank, so we we'll just keep doing what we're doing. Um, I keep bringing stuff down because, like I said, when it does come to that time that we have to move, it's that much less stuff that I have to bring in a rush. Um, and I like having, uh, you know, my supplies down to, um, you know, property anyway. In a worst case scenario. I already have a ton of stuff down here on hand that um, I don't have to worry about, you know, so it, it's like a win-win situation. So it's like taking stuff down in no hurry, and uh, each carload of stuff that I bring down here is that much stuff that I have to bring down later. Um, and like I said, and again, because then I also have all my supplies down here, and a lot of the stuff that I'm bringing down is primarily all bug-out supplies. So. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's a good thing. Uh, I'm kind of looking forward to having a real peaceful day up at the property. Uh, I'm probably just going to cut wood today. Did a lot of splitting the last time I was up, so I think this time it's just going to be strictly bucking up wood. Um, I'm going to bring another load of wood back home again. We brought a load back with us yesterday. My stepfather and I did with his truck. So we got a good load with his truck. And... Uh, so that was cool. So I got a really good supply already at the house already. So I just, like I said, each time I come up and, uh, you know, and of course I have my four buckets of dirt, <laughs> four buckets at a time. But you know what? It's it's going to be really, really good. Um, you know, that, that dirt is freaking awesome. And it's going to make for a great greenhouse once we get the greenhouse going. In a way, it's it's, it's funny. I'm, I'm looking forward to being up here full time when it happens because then I can focus on doing things at the property every day. You know, because right now it's an hour drive one way to go down to the property, so, but I don't want to have to move in the winter. So, uh, like I said, I'm hoping we get to the spring and, uh, you know, I can't see us being there much past the spring. I really can't, it's been so freaking long, but uh, who knows with these freaking banks, how long things take. Um, I know that uh, my realtor was telling me about one guy that was still in his house. Uh, he was in his house for like five years and four months without paying his mortgage. So actually this month for me is three years. So I mean I'm on borrowed time and I know it. But uh, like I said it's like the focus is just trying to do what we can do up here. There's not really a whole lot that we can do right now. So I'm just kind of focusing on wood. Um, the building itself like I said uh, I'm just going to use it for storage. And uh, I do plan on building higher up the hill. Um, as I had said before, I may end up making like a garage area, you know, shop area down in that area, but I'll build something first before I get rid of that building itself. So it's in really, really bad shape. So, you know, like I said, it's, I was just trying to th figure worst case scenario, what are we gonna do, how are we gonna do it? But, uh, you know, it'll all work out. I don't want to think worst case scenario. So anyway, so I'm on, on my way down. I'm about 25 miles into my drive already. So um, got about another 30 to go. So it's about 56, 57 miles down from my house. And, uh, but like I said, it's, uh, it's exciting. Um, you know, I'm looking forward to the adventure and when we're here and focusing on working on things and you know, then I can do videos every day of, okay, this is what we got done today. This is what we worked on today.
because even with working, I can come home and, uh, you know, depending on the time of year, do a couple hours worth of work on evening, you know, and, and focus on getting things better. But, uh, so I just wanted to touch base with you guys and let you know what was happening. Um, like I said, right now we're just, uh, you know, doing it one step at a time. And I figured I'd let, let the girls sleep this morning. They were up late watching TV and stuff. So they were all still sound asleep when I left the house. Uh, but, uh, and like I said, this way I can bring more stuff up. If I don't have three of them sitting in the back seat, taking up all kinds of room, I can bring more things up. So, but like I said, I wanted to get let them chill out too. They got to have their break. Uh, but that's it for right now. Uh, I'll do another video when I, obviously when I get to the property, and I'll show you uh, what I brought up today, and uh, we'll go from there. All right. Well, thanks for listening, guys. I appreciate it. Prepper Nurse went out.